What's going on guys, my name's Theo Atrix and today I'm showing you guys how to get the full ghostly robe outfit in old school. Getting the ghostly robes is actually a mini quest called Curse of the Empty Lord. And to be able to get the ghostly robes, you need to have a ring of visibility and a ghost speak amulet. You get the ghost speak amulet after completing the restless ghost, which is a very easy quest, but you can only get the ring of visibility while you're obtaining the shadow diamond in desert treasure. So right after you unlock that chest with the lock picks and give the loot to Rizzolo, he gives you the ring of visibility. So basically that means you need to have started desert treasure, which means you will need the requirements and they're listed on the screen right now. All right, now to start Curse of the Empty Lord, you should get a skills necklace, a ghost speak amulet and the ring of visibility and teleport to the fishing guild. From here, run west and then follow the path up north around the fishing guild. Once you reach Glariel's tomb, you need to speak to the mysterious ghost that's standing here and he's gonna tell you to find Renard. And also within the chat log, he's gonna give you one specific hint, which I'm listing on the screen right now, that you're gonna need to follow the correct path to do this mini quest. Now keep note that all three of these paths are in the wilderness and you can see that the ring of visibility has a white outline meaning it's always lost no matter what happens. So in saying that, to get a lot of ring of visibilities in case you die during one of these paths, come speak to Rizzolo and drop all your rings and keep stacking up your rings until you have about five. So once again, on the screen are the three paths, depending on what the chat box said as you spoke to the mysterious ghost. Skip to the specific times on the screen for that path because you don't need to know any of the other ones since the quest entirely relies on that one path. So for the first pathway, you do need to have at least 31 prayer to do this. Also, you'll need a teleport to the Slayer Tower. Now you can take a Slayer Ring or a Carol Teleport Tablet if you've done Desert Treasure. Otherwise, you can use someone's house to get there. Now withdraw a weapon, your Burning Amulet, your Glory, the Ring of Visibility, and the Ghost Speak. Teleport to Bandit Camp and run north with Protect from Melee on and you'll see the ghost that is just standing there out in the open. You may need to lure the bandits a bit there because there are a lot of them and it is multi-combat. Once you collect the ghostly gloves, run directly east all the way to the graveyard of shadows. And this is why you brought your weapon because there are zombies there that you can just really easily kill to get them off you while you wanna to talk to the ghost. Now teleport out of there and use the mini game teleport to pest control. <laughs> As soon as you get off the pest control ship, there will be the next ghost. And this one will give you the ghostly robe bottoms. Next, teleport to Edgeville and go to the monastery to the west. Go upstairs to the altar and there's a mysterious ghost standing next to the altar. And by the way, guys, you have to do this in order. If you do it in any other order, you won't get all of the items. I know there is a lot of overlapping of the same location, but that's just how it is. The last one is in the Slayer Tower. So if you have a Slayer Ring, you can teleport straight there. Otherwise, use a Carol Teleport. You can find the final mysterious ghost on the first floor just before you enter the Infernal Mages. Now these are all the items you'll need for path number two. Feel free to pause the video to read these. So start off by teleporting to Alcarid and then going to the Shanty Pass. On your way through, buy a pass from Shante and go through the pillars and take the carpet ride to Bedabin Camp. Once you get off the carpet, run directly south and then go west a little bit until you get to the bar and inside the bar is the mysterious ghost giving you the ghostly gloves. For the next part, you will need a knife and I recommend bringing some food as well. So teleport to the lava maze and make your way all the way through it, which will take you a little bit of time. Once you're through, go to the final caged off area at the back and speak to the ghost in there. Now make your way out of there. You can go through the King Black Dragon if you want to teleport out and then make your way to a spirit tree to the Tree Gnome Stronghold. And then from the spirit tree, run directly east until you see the mysterious ghost south of the Gnome Ball Fields. The next one is in the Falador Party Room. So use your Falador Teleport Tablet, climb up the staircase on the eastern side of the party room and the ghost will be standing right there. And the last one can be found at the Earth Warriors in the Edgeville Dungeon. And these ones are a bit of a pain as well, but thankfully it is only single combat. So you can pretty easily snipe some time to talk to the ghost. So for path number three, you'll need stamina potions, a glory, a burning amulet, a knife, and some food. 
Start by taking the Edgeville lever into the deep wilderness and run directly west as soon as you slash the web until you reach the shipwreck. Now just south of it, you'll see the ghost walking around. He's kind of hard to pick out, but you will find him. From here, run southwest through the gates and then south all the way to the Chaos Temple. And the ghost is lurking around in here. Now you need to get out of the wilderness, which you can go through the King Black Dragon again since you can safely teleport out of there. And then teleport to drain a village with your glory and make your way to Port Sarum. Take the boat with the monks of Entrana as long as you don't have any weapons or armor on you and the ghost will be inside the church of Entrana. Now as soon as you get your ghostly robe bottoms, teleport straight back to Draenor Village and go directly south, all the way to the Wizard's Tower and on the bottom level there is a ghost in green. And for the final piece you need to go to the Rogue's Castle which is very very deep in the wilderness and to do that you should use your burning amulet to the lava maze and use the teleportation system in the wilderness to get to the one near the rogue's castle. Once you're there, go upstairs once and then run to the easternmost room and you'll see the ghost standing around there. Once you're done, you can use the teleporters to get right out of there. So once you've completed your specific path for the mini quest, there's two more things you should do. Firstly, make your way back to Glariel's tomb and speak to the ghost to fully complete the mini quest. And secondly, you can make your way back to the Varrock Museum if you want to get a 1000 XP lamp as well as 10 kudos. So yeah, that's how you get the ghostly robe outfit in old school. I tried to squeeze it all into one guide, so I'm sorry if I went too quickly. Feel free to actually slow down the video using the video settings in the bottom right. But yeah guys, if you learned something today, be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. If you really enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks so much for watching and have a nice day.